I imagine since you are at the planetarium, you can give us a little bit more about the science behind uh, the lunar eclipse. Well, a very good evening to you, Mrs. Kathy. We are indeed coming to you live from the planetarium here at Vets University. It's one of the key areas where people will be gathered to observe the lunar eclipse. And yes, indeed, I can give you a bit, of, a bit more information and some context on that as to what is this lunar eclipse and actually what happens during such occurrences. The lunar eclipse is basically what happens when the sun, the moon and the earth are almost or perfectly aligned with each other. So usually the sun and the moon revolve or orbit around the earth atmosphere on a plane level. Hence, this is such a rare occasion. But simply, if I can put it in simple terms, this is basically what happens um, this is basically what happens uh, when the sun and the moon are, like I said, evenly aligned uh, with the earth and the shadow behind the earth from the uh, sun's position actually directed towards the moon uh, is the one that actually uh, covers the moon, which the, 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 the shadow we call the amber behind the, the, the earth. But basically what is happening in, in, in theory, this is an alignment of the three, uh, the earth, the moon and the sun and the sun. All right, and we can see behind you just um, a, a view of what the moon looks like right now. But of course, a little bit later on tonight, in about an hour's time, it's going to start moving and we're expecting it to be completely dark. So speak to us about the times. When will the lunar eclipse begin and how long will it go on for? Well, the lunar eclipse for us as South Africans is expected around, as you rightfully put it, around half past eight. And it will be reaching totality at 9.30 all the way to midnight. So totality being the term they use to refer to the period when the moon is fully covered by the amber or slash the shadow uh, behind the earth from the sun. It's quite a chilly evening at the moment. And, you know, even in the invitation here, they told us to wear warm clothes. So us and, of course, the people people who are attending here will be trying to brave the weather and of course to brave the night to bring you all of these uh, uh, and all of this uh, which is unfolding at this historic event. But of course at the planetarium Lindo you also have access to some of the equipment that's there so I imagine you're going to get a better view of what that eclipse will look like um, than most people in South Africa tonight. Mrs. Kathy, we're definitely uh, hoping we will get a better view. But uh, so far, we saw them bringing out what I would like to refer to as the big guns, the big telescopes, uh, that would definitely get a closer look at this eclipse. But we'll definitely be trying to also show you during the evening, during the course of the evening, how it looks like on a closer look uh, from these parameters. But of course, West University is bringing out the big guns, and they have brought out those big telescopes. And we are hoping that we can get you know, a better look than uh, the naked eye would give us at this particular point in time. Well, it sounds like it's going to be an absolutely fascinating team for you and everybody else uh, that's out there at the planetarium. Um, Lindo, there, he's out at Wits University bringing us the latest on the lunar eclipse for tonight.